So um, this is one of my most favorite, most used uh, resources. I think it's lesser known. Um, I don't know really who they are, who did this. Um, it was a lot of work to find all these quotations. Um, I don't know what the rest of the website is about. I tried to email them once. They didn't answer. So maybe it's just kind of an older, inactive uh, website. So uh, what it's called here is quotes where Jehovah's Witnesses claim inspiration. Uh, and it has a bunch of pages, part one and part two. I'm just going to read you what they said here in the intro introducing um, this. It says the organization has made the same bold claim of inspiration from the year it was founded in 1881 to the present. Every leader of the organization has claimed inspiration from the beginning. Um, and then they go on to talk about how it's such double talk because when they uh, are talking about older things in the history. They say they never said we were inspired. And uh, here it says they use every other term to denote inspiration except the word, the actual word inspired. And um, I think that's true. I'm just going to read you a couple of the quotes from here that I highlighted. Um, I, I like all of them. They're all amazing. But um, here's one from 1917. It says, in all his, Russell's uh, warnings, he claimed no originality. He said he could never have written his books himself. It all came from God through the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit. And that's in Studies in the Scriptures, Volume 7. I guess that's a finished mystery, right? Volume 7. Um, here's one from 1931, June 1st, page 160. Jehovah God has made known to his anointed ones in advance what these scriptures mean. Oh, I, I missed another one before that. 1922, July 15th. This chronology is not of man, but of God. And then it says it's uh, of divine origin, absolutely and unqualifiedly correct. And that's in July 15th, 1922, Watchtower. Here's another one later from Watchtower, April 1st, 1932, page 101. Um, let's see. Um, it, says, it, it says the uh, light has been flashing from the temple and upon the record of his word. The expression, the word, therefore, includes every revelation of truth down to and including the book Vindication and whatsoever shall be revealed and published by the Lord's grace as long as the remnant is on earth. Um, here's another one from August 15th, 1933. Enlightenment proceeds from Jehovah by and through Jesus Christ and is given to the faithful anointed on earth at the temple. Okay, see all those uh, equivalent expressions to the word inspiration. Another one is from 1937, April 15th, page 124. Jehovah permits his covenant and anointed people to see the meaning thereof. And these in turn declare the meaning to others who might have an ear to hear. So it's saying it's from Jehovah. Um, in another one in November 15th, 1937, God has revealed the meaning of these prophecies to his people. The, and later in 1937 yearbook, the Lord is pleased to use, uh, let's see, the watchtower is the means the Lord is pleased to use to transmit his message of truth to the people. Uh, Jehovah's visible organization is a channel for bringing the divine interpretation of his word to his devoted people. Watchtower, June 1st, 1938. Um, let's see. Um, same thing, means of communication. Oh, this is a good one. 1940, um, Fred Franz, uh, who, uh, the question was to him, who subsequently became the editor of the magazine, the main editor of the Watchtower magazine? Friends answered, Jehovah God. And so that was, he was under oath. So that, that's the first part. Then they have also a second part where it goes on uh, saying kind of the same things. Uh, Jehovah and Jesus reveal the interpretations through their provided channel. 
Um, then God's people publish them. That's April 15th, 1952. This is just showing they continue on and on with this kind of language, and they still do. Um, let's see. Uh, the Holy Spirit in invisibly communicates with Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> and the publicity department. Fred France said that uh, to a newspaper. So that's that's number 67 on the second part. Um, let's see. We must appreciate this fact that, you know, about the channel and respond to the directions of the slave as we would to the voice of God, because it is his provision. June 15th, 1957. Uh, let's see. God has, uh, oh, this one, this is a good one. 1959, January 15th, Watchtower. Whom has God actually used as his prophet? Jehovah's Witnesses are deeply grateful today that the plain facts show that God has been pleased to use them. Jehovah thrust out his hand of power and touched their lips and put his words in their mouths. But remember, they're not inspired. So they use the, uh, it comes from no man. They use here for, you know, a, some time they kept repeating the prophet thing. And then, then they kind of go on to other words. <laughs> I love this one. Um, September 15th, 1964, Watchtower. Um, I I'm just going to read this whole thing. That This is so good. The brother went down to get the mail before breakfast. And when we had breakfast, he said, Brother Reamer, I got a new Watchtower this morning. And do you know the first thing that Ma and I do when we get that tower? We kneel down before we take the wrapper off and ask Jehovah to make us worthy to see what the message is that Jehovah has for us. Now, before we take the wrapper off, will you kneel down and pray with us? How different that elective elder was from this humble couple who appreciated Jehovah's organization. Let's see. Um, oh, and how it tells you don't, don't do your own study. There's a lot of quotes like that. Uh, 1980, April 30th, Watchtower. If you have a tendency towards apostasy, get a hobby and keep yourself busy to keep your mind off it. Stay away from deep Bible study to determine meanings of the scriptures. Oh, it wasn't a Watchtower. It was Carl Klein, one of the leaders, in an address to the Watchtower, April 30th, 1980. Uh, let's see. Um... Faith in Jehovah, faith in those whom he is using as spokesmen. Yes, faith in his organization. How important it is that we exercise such faith. Of course, they would have to be inspired for you to have faith in them. Watchtower, July 1st, 1984. Um, oh, and then the, the constant, this is later use of uh, equivalent expressions, is comparing them to... Um, the apostles in Jerusalem. So they did did that January 15th, 1990, and then other times. And let's see. All who want to understand the Bible should appreciate that the greatly diversified wisdom of God can become known only through Jehovah's channel of communication, the faithful and discreet slave, October 1st, 1994. And then this is hilarious. In, uh, in 93, in the awake, they said, we have not the gift of prophecy. The watchtower does not claim to be inspired in its utterances, nor is it dogmatic. So unfortunately, um, this only goes through the year 2000. And I and that's why I had actually emailed them about um working on adding to this but uh, i don't think they're active on here anymore but it would be a cool project because they still continue to use these kind of expressions i mean you know on the broadcast he said the direction comes from jehovah to jesus to them but but it's okay if they're wrong too because they're not inspired so anyways i'll put the link to this in the description and if anybody wants to add to this things they've said since 2000 in the last 20 years um Maybe we can make a little file about that because I think they continue to say they're inspired without using the word inspired. So, okay. Thanks. God bless.